Hey guys, I got a box. Let me get to that in just a second here. We got a car show tomorrow. Hey, can you guess what that is? Come on, man, don't cheat. Put that in the comments if you think you know what that is. Goes to the car. Um, but before I get into that, I gotta tell you something. I just found out about this. You've seen these, right? Yeti mugs. Did you know that, you know that you're supposed to clean these, right? <laughs> but when you clean them, did you know you're supposed to take that doggone rubber band off there? Uh oh, here comes the cat. You're supposed to clean, take that rubber band off and clean it behind it. Anyway, put that back on. I didn't know that. And, you know, I don't know which way this thing goes on. Just like one side is flat. The other side's got these two little things. I took it off. I don't remember which way it was before putting it back on. So, anyway, apparently uh, I was watching this doctor show and the guy says, this guy had to keep taking antibiotics. He kept getting sick. Turned out to be a bunch of crap underneath this thing. So anyway, just so you know, I think I put this on backwards. I'm going to flip it back around. Made in China. China. So yeah, okay. So maybe you guessed it. These are louvers. I got the cheap ones. Now... I thought my, you know, I got permission from my wife. I told them the thing's going to be about, come on, kitty, you're blocking the view here. Um, I told her they're going to be about, you know, 250 bucks. I think these were about 200. <clears throat> and uh, she said, yeah, no problem. So I ordered them. But then when we went to the car show and she saw one of the other challenges with the ones from Dale's Cuda shop. If you look at my... My last video, the one with, I went to the car show, you know, the one with the wreck. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. That was a real bad scene. Um, well, that one, he had the Dale Cuda shop. Uh, they normally go for a thousand bucks. I think they're selling them now for 700 or 800, but they're really nice. They're hinged, but you got to drill. You got to drill a couple holes there. I guess it's not a problem if you know what you're doing, but. I don't know, it's drilling a hole in a new in a new car. You know? Alright. So let me get this thing open. So my 2010 Challenger, if you saw some of the other videos, I had a set of louvers on it. And uh people made the same comments as they still are. They're saying uh, you know, the tape that comes with it is no good. On these little brackets. I think that was the same thing with my last one. So I still have some of the 3M tape. But you know what? I'm going to get some fresh stuff. Oh, look at that. Snap. They're using 3M tape now. See that? This is 3M tape. So they must have got the memo. So anyway, so here's my new louvers. I'm going to go on the Challenger. Now, the issue I had with the last ones is uh, they ended up, um, I don't know if they warped or what, but uh, as you open the trunk up, it started hitting. So, I'm going to see how much clearance there is. And, and they didn't hit, so I started putting the stuff underneath it to keep it from rattling. The foam, the foam that like I used on the, putting in the cold air intake. I should see how many brackets I've got here. I'm curious on this. I got uh, one, two, all right, so there's two in here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's the same as the other one. This looks just like my last set of lures. Oh, these are plastic nuts. Oh, that's kind of, hmm, that's kind of scary. Anyway, uh, let's see how this looks. I'm going to run out there and just temporarily put it on the back. All right, so they're on there. That Temporarily. I'm not, I don't have them fixed or anything. I just laid them on there, but that looks pretty good. I just got to make sure that this piece doesn't hit, but it looks like it's this first lip was hitting on my last one. But I think we're good. Let's see. Let's see how close it is. 
Well, that's weird. So it'll definitely leave a little bit of gap there, but I think it's gonna work out just fine. I think that looks pretty, pretty badass, actually. All right, let me get the brackets. I gotta clean that window with alcohol first. Make sure that shit's Okay, stay. so no instructions, so there's nothing to read. I guess I can't make a mistake because there's no instructions. So anyway, <clears throat> I'm sticking these things all on the louvers right now. Backing is still on it. I'm gonna line it up first clean that back window I'm gonna clean the whole back window actually because <laughs> when this is on maybe we clean it and then I uh, I'm gonna to use the alcohol just to make sure it gets a good adhesion I'll put it down um, pull the backing off one side at a time and uh, then I'll remove the louver and then I'll put the uh, foam on it so how convenient from the show I got this from Majestic Solutions, some glass cleaner. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this. See how this works. Clean that whole back window. Ooh. Smells good. <laughs> usually, usually this stuff smells pretty nasty. All right. Put it on kind of heavy. I'm gonna clean this thing up and I'll put it back in a minute. All right, so before I knock this thing out, <clears throat> knock this out, I'm gonna open this up. Sliding down. So this trunk is totally different the way it opens up compared to my other one. So no issues with them hitting. Well, I don't have to worry about it at all. All right, see you in a minute. All right, so I uh, peeled all the backing off and I laid it out onto the window, lined it up as best I could. <clears throat> Looks pretty good. Now, of course, they're not pressed down hard on anything. They're just on there. So I'm going to remove those screws now because everything's lined up and then I can press down and heat each one of them up. So I'm going around with the torch <laughs> and I'm just heating these up so that stuff uh, uh, seals real good. If you're in Florida and it's a 100 degree day, you probably don't have to do this. Last time I put my louvers on, it was like that. This one is not flat. I should have checked that one beforehand. And I'm going to put silicone around the edges as well. Right. So I'm doing a lot from memory here, but I do remember putting the rear window defogger on, heating these things up, and then putting this stuff on is just kind of guesswork where it's going to vibrate. I, I know it's usually the metal louvers. Uh, I don't go the whole length. You just put a few spots in there. Uh, I might have to put something over in these corners. I don't remember. But I know if you put too much, they'll bow up and they'll start to warp. So you got to be careful on that. <clears throat> and uh, so, yeah, that's about it. Uh, now, around these corners, I usually put silicone, a little RTV around it, because I don't trust tape by itself. <clears throat> What's good about it is if you ever go to take it off, just a razor knife, it all comes back off. So it's a nice little safety. I think my wife wants to go out tonight, so uh, I'm going to put the RTV on. I don't know if it'll dry in time, but the double back tape should hold it. We're not going to go that fast. Right. <laughs> Famous last words. All right. And Adam. Anyway, they're on. I don't, uh, I think one of the supports is a little bit loose, <clears throat> so I'm going to have to. This one right here, I think when I tightened it, I actually pulled it away from the glass. Loosen the nut a little bit, push down a little bit, but I think I'm gonna take these louvers off and press down on these a little bit harder. Also, I'm probably gonna have to put some anti-vibration on that top rib as well. The other ones are okay, maybe that one. That top one, I think, is gonna vibrate. Anyway, got it on. All right, I wanna see how it looks from inside here. I'm looking through the rear view, I guess. Hmm, dome lights on. So I can tell when I got my foot on the brake, I can see the red. Steering parking mode. Motion detection. 
detection recording. detector there I mean my parking Continuous mode. recording will now start so anyway GPS so, connected. so I have this dash cam I gotta see how the back on your smart window looks to a Wi-Fi network whose name starts with thinkware so I'm gonna connect to that and look out that back window I might have to move that camera hopefully it's positioned okay um, from the outside I can see so anyway we'll see how it looks be right back all right well that kind of sucks as you can see I got one of the slats right in the middle of the camera I think I'll be able to see above I'll see below uh, I don't know I'll have to move the camera down just a little bit I think because I don't think I, I think it's up as high as it can go I'll have to bring it down lower so anyway well it's always something <laughs> Oh, and that's, uh, again, that's what it looks like. But my driveway's out of slant, so all you can see is the trees. But uh, it doesn't look too bad. And I don't want to drive anywhere yet. <clears throat> Unfortunately, the way this tape works is uh, it's got to get real hot. That's why I use the torch to kind of heat it up a little bit. Um, now, when I put it on in my other Challenger, my red one, it was like blazing hot out and I put the thing on there and then I just I left the louvers off just let those pieces of metal stay on the glass because the Sun would hit it and it get real hot um, that's the way to go so this one uh, you know one of them when I tightened up the nut it, um, it pulled it away from the glass so um, yeah I don't trust it right now so it's gonna look kind of ugly but i'm gonna take the louvers off again and uh overnight i think uh if we go out i'm gonna take the louvers off and uh we'll go out with just the plates on the window and then uh tomorrow i'll probably go to the car show put this thing in the trunk and then just put them on right when i get to the show because i got to put some more um material behind it i think it's gonna rattle so it's uh that's another project you got to kind of figure out where is it which slat is doing the rattling and they will rattle <laughs> and then and then you you'll you'll get all the rattles out then you'll go to a certain speed and it'll start rattling might not be the highest speed it might be like it rattles at 83 it doesn't rattle at 90 it doesn't rattle at 75 but it rattles at 83 uh, my last one was like that anyway all right so time for dinner later guys